Welcome to Time Value of Money, Problem 1. Ninety years ago, your great-grandmother left money that you will inherit ten years from now. The annualized interest rate earned over the entire period will be 6.1%. You've been told that the amount you will receive is $1.2 million. Based on this information, how much money did your grandmother invest all those years ago? So we need to interpret the question to determine what's needed here. So what are we looking for? We're, sa we're trying to find out how much money did your grandmother invest all those years ago. Although it's in the past, mathematically this is asking for the present value along the lines of the present value, future value concept because it's a time in the past versus a time well which is also in the future, 90 years ago versus 10 years from now. So here's the question again. We need to figure out what we need. So using a financial calculator, we can enter the values that are given. We need to now label them. So the 1.2 million here, that is the future value. Then we have the 90 years ago, the, great, uh, the money that was left, but you'll be receiving it in 10 years so that the total amount of time or the number of periods and years is going to be 100. And then we have the 6.1%, and that is the interest rate per period annualized. Now, the calculator for, calcula for doing present value and future value uh, type questions and for bonds has five buttons. You have present value, PV, future value, FV, N, periods, I, rate per period, and payment, PMT. Now the payment is the case when you need uh, when you have regular payments throughout for each period from now to n but here we don't have any there's just an initial investment and no period in between we would of course be using this for bonds so now we just solve for present value and the present value is 3218.42 note the calculator would give you a negative number there i won't get into the d the reasoning at this point in time but it means that the that's the payment the value uh, that your the amount that your money of money that your grandmother left uh, 90 years ago. Now we can use the equation, the present value future value equation. The present value is a future value over one plus the in rate to the power of n n being the periods. So we just put in the uh, values 1.2 million, 6.1 percent, 100 years, and it comes out to the same number. And there we have it. Thank you for your attention and I uh, hope that helped.